Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Unity Tutorials. In this episode we're going to use the ground check to create the jumping mechanics. Let's go! What we need to do is we need to embed in this place a lot of things in here. So what I'm going to do first, since we're going to add more th things in here, I'm going to add a region. And a region is basically a, a collapsible lines of scripts that you can use to organize yourself if you have a lot of lines. So we go region, go move, and run, okay? And then you have to always close it with end region. And as simple as that, you can just minimize here. I can have a better view. Let's also close this because we don't want to work on this at the moment. <coughs> so let's start with jumping, okay? So for jumping, it's as simple as when we click space, which is the default, jumping uh, button we need the character to actually just jump upwards and start falling down all right for that what we need to do is we need to do something in here make sure that if let's actually explain everything first if the player is grounded and pressed space jump that's as simple as that so we want, I want to embed this in the same method in here because I want everything to be in one place uh, at least the moving part from the character itself so what I'm going to do is let's start from here we can do this thing where we can check if the button is pressed or not so basically the jumping is we don't have to keep holding we just have to press it once there's a lot of games where if you keep pressing it jumps to a specific place but if you press it slowly or like for a half a second it jumps a little bit but we're not gonna, that, that's a bit more advanced when you embed this simple mechanics you can adva you can uh, uh, upgrade it to whatever you want later so let's start with this if input that get button down I'm gonna use the button of jump and else if if input that get button that get buttoned up jump I think this is unneeded because uh, it doesn't matter for this stuff we're gonna disable it after the jumping itself yep uh, actually you're right. th th this one is gonna be for the crouching so one of the stuff in here is whenever we, we call the get key there's a predefined key codes in here which is a lot of keys like you see it's I don't know, like, uh, over 500 is a preset keyboard names but sometimes you, you want to use something more of a unified like uh, jumping like I don't it, it doesn't have to be spacebar it can be something else right it can be spacebar it can be a uh, the a button in the joystick it can be this you know any other other thing so what we can do is we can check this st stuff in the input controller in the project settings input manager and then you can see all the buttons in here that you have you can have you can add more if you want in here you can go 19 and some and the, basically the last one gets replicated so you can change it but I'm not gonna do at the moment anything so if you open the jump we can see that it's using the space bar with a lot of other features you can add an alternative positive stuff like you want to use joystick and things so that's good so that means whenever we place space we need to jump so in order to jump we're gonna do this kind of a mechanic so we're gonna embed everything in here so to do stuff in here we have to, to, to pass another values but let's start with the basics we can jump only when we're grounded right so is grounded add jump force so basically when we use the jumping we have to access the rigid body and there's something there's a lot of uh, features inside but the one that we use is called add force add force basically adds a force to the game object that has the rigid body and for jumping we only need to add a force to that positive y value because in the x we already handling it here with a moving so we're going to add 0 to the x and a value here which we're going to call jump power For this, we're gonna add it here as a serializable one. 
So we're gonna add the similar this one, call it jump power. Let's keep it 300 for now and we can change it later. Actually, we can just remove this stuff in here because it's already serializable. Let's actually keep it like this. Uh, I've tested this and then I found that we have to use higher values because smaller ones doesn't work that well, it doesn't jump high. So we have this in here, right? As soon as we jump, we add this force. So we get as, as long as we're grounded, we jump. There's one flaw in here. We're calling the move method in the fixed update all the time. We're passing the direction. So what that means, this is gonna get called every time. Because let's say we stood on the floor, it's gonna, this is gonna fire right away, jump. As soon as we get back to the floor, it's gonna jump again. So we have to add some kind of a flag so we can call it when we call that flag. Let's call it jump flag, okay? So jump flag, we have to add it here. So whenever we pass, whenever we enable this and we're grounded, we can jump. So we have more control here. And I can see we have an error here. We're gonna get to it right now. And uh, after we actually jump here, we're gonna have to disable that it's grounded and jump flag. Uh, basically, the is grounded is going to get disabled by default here, but this is just for double checking. So it's uh, I'm more relieved when I do it manually, and then it's going to get disabled in here afterwards by itself. And again, we have to disable the, this one, of course. Um, the next thing is we call this as it is, but right now we have to pass here a value, right? And this value is dependent on whether we press the space bar or not. Okay. So as as long as we're pressing this button here, the jump, we're gonna have to enable something called jump equals true, which we don't have right now, but we create a boolean called jump. I'm still thinking what should I make it jump or jumping? Let's just let's see how, how it works out. Let's go with jump. It, it's fine now. So one thing here we have to see here is as long as, whenever we click jump, it gets enabled, right? But we need to actually f build the, like, write another way that disables it because we don't wanna keep this jump on all the time. So what we have to do, we have to have this thing jump. Oh, okay. And we know, make this here jump equals false. And we still have this error. So what this error is gonna be fixed because we have two values in here the direction and the jump flag, but we're passing only one value, which is the direction. So we have to pass the jump value that gets triggered from here. We have to, if we press jump button, enable jump. Otherwise, disable it. So let's recap on what we've done. We've created the button trigger in here. So as as long as we're pressing, as long as we press this button, we enable it. Otherwise, we disable it if if we release it. And it's always getting passed on in here. So if we're not pressing it, it goes as false. And then this whole thing doesn't get called. But if we press it, we check if we're on the floor, and it's pressed. We disable them right away, and then we add the force. So what we need to do right now is we have to go back to the inspector and then modify the jump power. So as I told you, let's start with 500 and then we can see how it works. So I'm pressing now. Okay, see now we have this issue where it's always jumping. I guess uh, we've missed something in here. So if this is on, Um, did I? Oh, yeah. That's my that's my phone here. This should be by default false. Uh, you should actually, if you keep it like this, it's false by default. So uh, let's keep them everything like this, so we don't fall in the same problem again. Let's keep it like this. Go back in here. 
and play the scene. So when he folds down, he's gonna stand still. We move left and right, and we can see in the right side we have the is grounded on. So as long as we we press space, he's gonna jump, and that's a really high jump. Oh wow! Let's try 100. Okay, that's that was really really high. 300. Still too high. Let's go with 200. Okay, I want to make the jump high enough so he can stand on this one here. So I'm going to go with 250. Yep. So if you run here, we jump here, we can see that we can jump on surfaces and walk slowly. With click shift, we can run. Whew. One of the things you'll encounter if you test a lot, if, if you jump on the side of this, it, it gets stuck. And this is basically because of the collision uh, friction and the bounciness of the whole thing, mainly friction. How can we fix this is we need to create a, let's make a physics folder, we need to create a 2D physics materials, which is going to be here, physics material 2D. And let's call it uh, Fox, okay? I was going to say uh, sliding, but it, it doesn't fit. So in this one, we have two elements, the friction and the bounciness. Bounciness means uh, it has value of 0 and 1, and then means whenever you touch a surface, how would you bounce back? So we have it 0 because we don't want him to bounce back, and we need to disable the friction. And in order to do this, we have to hold this thing and put it in the collider that has the object itself. So with this, we can see it's right here in the material, and if we go and test it, we can jump, jump, oh yeah, okay, I need to fix the the power 250 oh -ho. again you can play with the power as much as you want it depends on your level your character and everything so if you run jump you can see it's now everything's fine we can jump over this stuff so we don't have any problems with uh, getting stuck okay so that's good it's uh, really good we can run that's amazing I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, smash the like and subscribe button. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.